Hello everybody! And as you can see, today I have got my coronet with me. And I thought I can tell you something about it. If you have heard and listened my CD, Azzurra, you can find it in the description. It's the instrument I used for most of the tracks. And it is a nice story. A couple of years ago, I visited my friend uh, Bob Reeves in Los Angeles. And he was so nice. I stayed at his home for 10 days and we had it just, you know, it was just visiting like a book of stories and legends, really a legend. I spent maybe the best 10 days ever with him, listening all these stories about his customers from, from 40, 50 years ago. Just unbelievable. If you, if you are around Los Angeles, you have to go visit Bob and just spend time with him a little bit because it's like, that's the experience you want. Anyway. I'm really affectionate to this instrument. This is a Kangstool cornet. Thanks to Bob, I got to meet like a few of the greatest legends in Los Angeles. And one of them, Charlie Davis, was so nice that he invited me to, to his birthday party, which, you know, like all these trumpet legends were there and it was, you can't believe how happy I was to be there. We had a chat and he was so nice that he said like, I'm gonna take you to the council factory for a visit. So the next day I took my Uber and I drove to, I think it's called Anheim in California. And um, he introduced me to, to council Jack and Jack was also so nice. He took me to all the factory for a really nice tour. And um, I have to say, I wasn't a cornet guy. And the only cornet I play was our orchestra's C cornet made by Getzen. And they basically used that one or the Yamaha Chicago C cornet, which is basically a trumpet. So I didn't have any cornet mouthpiece or anything. I didn't know almost anything about it. I have to admit. It was a strictly, let's say, efficient playing the cornet for me. Just if I had to play it in the orchestra, I would just practice it and play it. So I stumbled on, on this instrument it was like hanging there you know in the factory and i played three notes and i found a cornet that was in tune and that was the first time for me so i just bought it brought it back got like a nice, really nice mouthpiece oh i have the feeling that i will have to make like a, a chapter just for the mouthpiece but just this is like a pierre dutot mouthpiece and i use it for the solos and i just found a good balance for the solos, you know? It's like a, a proper cornet mouthpiece, like really deep, like a horn. And um, it's small, like, as you can see. And one year later, I just recorded the CD with it because I was so comfortable to play it and it, it just came natural, you know? Just a good feeling. Unfortunately, I just heard that the council factory closed a few months ago. I was so sad about it because um, the, the guys there were like so passionate about it, you know? Um, they took me for a nice tour and just really sad. I really hope that somebody will, will, will resume the work they did because there is something in the sound of the council trumpet. Definitely there is something, you know, different. About this cornet, definitely. In the orchestra, I still use the C trumpet, uh, the Getzen C trumpet. And I may use it with this one, but usually I use it with a one and a half uh, for cornet. Mm, just it makes like a more of a cornet orchestra sound and that's it. This has like nice features, this one and that one. I use either one of the two. I'm not really like a fan of this, like both keys right here. I don't know how to call it triggers. I would rather have like a, a ring and that's it. You know, I've got the valve alignment on this one too, of course, by Bob Reeves' uh, team, John Snell, Charles John. And that's it, that's my cornet, my B-flat cornet. If you have any questions, just throw me a message, I'll be happy to answer anything you want. Ciao, bye bye.